All right, so on today, on today, we are going to expound or talk about a book called Dragon Times. And by the author's name is, ooh, oh no, where did I put it? Where did I put it? Her name is Lucia. Yes, Lucia Francis. The book is called Dragon Times. We're going to expound on that a little bit. Let me give you a backstory. All right, so I got another video that's called Women Are Ruled by the Moon. And pretty much it explains how your menstruation <clears throat> is ruled by the moon. So sometimes people will be like, hey, can you get a little bit deeper? And I'll be like, well, I got to learn some shit before I can get a little bit deeper. Because I ain't going to be talking no crazy shit. But it was a book. Like Bobby Hemet has like a huge list of books that he says you should read. So this is one of them. And it is called Dragon Times by Lu Lucia Francis. And one of the passages says things that you wouldn't even know and believe. And it's so fucking interesting. Um, I'm just going to jump right in. Give you my explanation. So it says... Menstruation is a special time, a time when all sorts of energy stream through us. In Germany, computer centers and pharmaceutical labs, when menstruating women are walking through there, they have to wear red dots on their coats and they are not allowed in certain areas because their vibrations are so crazy and certain chemicals and certain environments are so delicate. So when you're menstruating, going through this crazy stuff, not only are you feeling crazy, but you're actually resonating differently. I was like, too. So when we're feeling crazy, we're actually vibrating crazy. That's why sometimes you can go in a room with, I'm going to say, wise women and they can go, baby, what's wrong? And they don't even have to know you because they pick up on your aura. You know, even little kids, what's wrong, Mommy? Even dogs, animals can pick up. We got a cat that if you said, that motherfucker will come and lay right at your feet. You didn't say anything to the cat. The cat doesn't speak English exactly. So you do give off certain energies when you are menstruating and you did not know this. It said, it also says that what I asked are women remembering when they get into these high depressive these outbursts of tears and the sudden acts of aggression and lingering melancholy. What's going on in the deepest souls when you turn away from your lovers, when you become nauseated, and when you crawl in the bed and all you want to do is be alone with chocolate? It said, could it be we remembered another time? The dog in the apartment still tramps on the ground for imaginary grass turning and turning before it lays down to rest could it be that menstruation touches our primal experience which shines through dimly when the body is has a certain chemical state and what is it about the penile gland and the mysterious hormone melatonin that the body produces mainly at night does it bring on depression on dark days or produce dreams in dark nights. What's known about melatonin now is that it produces the greatest quantity when the day is full. Interesting. Interesting. From that, the conclusions been drawn. Make sure I don't lose one. Conclusions have been drawn that it is it causes for people to have bad mood springs and depression on such days, of course. In this age, the sun calendar and worshiping of light, it's no wonder we have trouble with the moon and with darkness. Couldn't it be that the hormones have sensed other uses? So let's just say that the hormones had different uses at different periods of time long, 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 long time ago. It says the melatonin is vital to us for dreaming, for envisioning, for spinning tales and remembering. Women who have migraines land the odd male sufferer. Seek out darkness, avoiding bright light. Women with strong psychic and spiritual abilities often seek dark. Now, 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 
So at certain times when your body produces crazy amounts of melanin that we don't pay any attention to. One of these times is when you're on your period. Which is why for all of my spiritual ladies, we know that even though we're going through ups and downs and crazy periods of our life, that if you want to get some shit done, you do that shit while you're on your period. It'll be done impeccably. Matter of fact, your laser focus will be so concentrated, you probably could burn through a fucking wall. For all of my witches, we all know that the ritual that you do when you're on your period is the one that's going to happen immediately. So the question is, what is the driving force behind this power? Well, according to Francis, Dr. Francis, Francis, the author, she says that it's the amounts of melanin that elevate when you are on your period. Now, here's another time when melanin is so super crazy. Black women, when we get pregnant and we get that line from the bottom to the top through our belly, that is because you got so much melanin coursing through your body. It actually shows on the outside, which is why people say pregnant women are so up and down, up and down with their emotions. And they can only say, oh, it's just because I'm pregnant. Nobody ever relates it to the fact that your body is producing more melanin, more melanin amounts of melanin, a.k.a. melatonin that I produce through my menstrual cycle. There's really, this is a part of being a woman. There's no getting away from it. Like, of course, you can release all of your harbored emotions so that when your period hits, you're not so volatile. Like, there was a study done that when women snap, like on that show Snapped, a lot of the times those women are on their periods. They don't say nothing about that. And even at the beginning of the article, it said that your vibration is so strong your charge is so crazy that when you are in like a delicate, delicate environment, like a pharmacy or something like that, they don't even want you to be in there. They don't even want you to be in there. So imagine, can you imagine ignoring it and acting like that this isn't something that's supposed to happen? Can you imagine that? Especially for little, especially for babies, especially for babies. I came on my period at a very early age and my mom, wonderful lady, great wonderful energy she always told me that it was always okay to talk about how I felt she would rub my stomach and make me feel better and I think that's one of the reasons why I'm okay and open to talk how I talk right now so make it a safe space for all the women in your house to talk about how they feel and what's going on with them give them genuine advice if you are the elder if you're a younger person ask about it talk about it why 50% of the planet won't even be able to relate to you. That's another part about being a woman. There's certain things that we can only talk about. Like your dude is not going to be able to identify with passing a blood clot during your period. Nor will he even give a fuck. Sometimes the sister, like the sisterhood is so dope because you'll be able to relate with people that have actually experienced what you went through. And now that we're understanding that is high amounts of melanin produced when we are on our period, we can even get into that. Now, melanin is the superpower. So let's get into how strong and how powerful the amount of this melanin is when we are menstruating. Melanin summarized or the power of melanin or what your melanin does. All right, cool. Here we go. Let's break it the fuck down. All right, so... Nobody really understood why um, why we even had a pineal gland. Nobody even understood it. Um, so I forgot which war it was. Um, a lot of black, a lot of soldiers' bodies came back, and so what they was doing was they was running tests on the bodies. And what they started noticing was that um, our Caucasian counterparts um, had a calcified, dried up, really small pineal gland. Then they started taking apart us and they figured out that our shit was not calcified and it was actually like producing things. And they was like, well, what the fuck is going on? Well, come to find out what it was producing was tons and loads of melanin to the body. So you say, okay, what in fact is melanin? So I think C. Freeman L. related melanin as chlorophyll is to a green plant. So is melanin to uh 
a colored or a, a melanated person. So it's like your life force is what it is. They say melanin is the connector. Melanin is the connector. So what it does is it allows the connection between like brain function or hand-eye coordination or um, being able to process information or being able to do anything physical. Like why is it so that some of us African Americans can dance better. It's because once we hear the music, our brain processes it like that, and then it automatically flows to everything else we're doing. Bop, bop, bop. Why? It automatically flows. They say people that have darker eyes have better hand eye coordination. So the more melanin you have in your eyeballs helps you to be a better athlete. Hence, Hence, the more melanin you have in your body helps you be a better athlete. That's why a lot of our famous athletes that are like the GOAT, like 10 times ahead of everybody else is brown skin. Darker hued people, of course, have more melanin. Um, the reason why we are able to taste better, the reason why we are be able to taste better, I, I forgot which person I was watching that explained this. The reason why we season our food better than a lot of other cultures is because once the taste hits our taste buds, it automatically goes to a place of processing immediately. It like like the brain function, how it's connected, makes it work like that. Melanin is like I couldn't even I, I could go on for days. Like I could go on for days. Um, and also it's like the genius. It's like the genius caveat, even though, you know, indigenous people are pretty much the entire population of the world. Don't never let them tell you different. Um, it's a factor like even even how we communicate is a direct relation to melanin. So if you see somebody and you can pick up on how they feel, you know, people go, oh, I, you're not you're not feeling good today. You're not feeling good today or you acting weird. That's your intuition. Now, what is your intuition, though? It's a feeling that connects you to your outside world. Sometimes when you can't even display or verbalize how you feel, your intuition tell you what the fuck is up. Melanin. DNA. Melanin. So this is the powers of melanin. So now, I just told you all that great shit that you got just for having melanin. I'm telling you that when you're on your period, the shit goes through the roof. So... If you on your period and something say, call my mother, call your mother. If you on your period and something say, don't drive to work right now, you need to go in late, go to fucking late. Because that's the connection between all of the outside forces or all your intuition that you don't really know where it's coming from. They say rationale kills intuition. Stop trying to rationalize it. Ain't nobody called me. I guess I could go to work early. No, the fuck you cannot. No, the fuck you cannot sit your ass down somewhere. Think about every time you went against that. Oh, I'm going to go to this party. Or oh, my homegirl is leaving a party. I should leave too. No, you should not. No, you you should stay. No, 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 no. You should not stay. You need to get the fuck up out of there. Somebody say, if, if you meeting somebody new and they like, yeah, let me take you out on a date. And something deep inside of you says, I probably don't feel comfortable with this. Don't do it. I didn't say go call your good Judy and say, girl, we going on a double day. I said, don't do it. A lot of times we end up in situations where we like, I don't even know how I started fucking with this nigga. Well, let me explain. When he first started pursuing your ass, he gave you all the red flags that you needed. Instead of you taking hints like, oh, goodness, this, I don't know if I could deal with this. You ignored it. You ignored it. You didn't pay any mind to this thing. And here's the thing. This is how this is how we so fucking blessed. I'm not I'm I ain't gonna reference the Bible. We're blessed and highly favored because your period come every month. Repeat, your period come every month. Not only is it a is it another chance to procreate, which, you know, now we associate babies with financial responsibilities. So we hold back on procreating. But back in the day, you're supposed to be fruitful and multiply because everything you needed came from the ground. And the universe produced what you needed. So you ain't had to go to the store. However, every time your period comes on, it's a chance to activate your superpower. Every time. Don't think of it no other way. So if you if you couldn't figure out a hard problem that you were having before, ask yourself why you on your motherfucking period. Watch you get the answer to that shit and be like, now I told you. When you get the answer, 
Don't try to rationalize it. I don't know why I thought that. I don't know why. No, 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 no. Just go. Divine feminine energy. Just go. Just be. If you wake up, if you at your job and you're something, say, call your kids. I don't give a fuck what class they in. Call your kids. Every month you get an opportunity. And if you feel like your melanin isn't charging you or giving you what you need, change your diet and fast while you're on your period. Not on your period, but fast. And then re bring it back for your period cycle. Watch you get it. Watch you get it. Like, I'm telling y'all, and I ain't mean to jump in this video like that. Because I made that video that y'all seen before. I made that two weeks ago. <laughs> I just didn't know what to do with it. But, yeah, okay. Your superpower. Your superpower. Big boy stunting. Is your melanin. Is your melanin. It's your fuck. Girls, girls, you don't got to call your homegirl when you're going through something. Talk to yourself. Watch you come up with the right answer. Then grab your invisible nuts and do what the fuck you got to do because you already got it. Woman, know thyself. You don't got to call your kiki girlfriend. Now, you could. You could call your kiki girlfriend. However, you already know the answer. Most of the time when you call your bitch, it's for validation. Girl, I knew he wasn't shit. She'd be like, true. She didn't answer no motherfucking question. All she did was high five your ass. Go team, go your ass. That's all she did. All right, let me let y'all get back because I could go on all day. That's seven minutes. Let me say in Western society, we have been taught the periods are gross and you're not supposed to talk about it. I say fuck that shit. I got a house full of women, a house full of women. My mother raised me the same way. The way you get through your period easier is to not hold back or harbor a lot of the things that you go through through the month. So if you're going through something and it's a feminine, first off, let's just get into that. Divine feminine energy is being able to become one with your emotions. Let's get into it. Being able to embrace the fluctuation of how you feel on a daily basis is a part of embracing the complete, authentic, unapologetic, what I am woman, hear me roar. That is it. Let's get into it, fellas. Because if you're mad because your woman has an attitude, then you might as well go get a dick. But you ain't going to go get no dick. So you got to deal with us. Here's another secret. For all the fellas, ladies, if you need to play this in front of your nigga, play it. If you leave me, because my attitude is whack, guess what? Hers is too. It's part of divine feminine energy. Everybody's is different. But trust and believe, until we go through menopause, this just some shit that you're going to have to deal with. You make a lot of mel melanin in the dark time. So sometimes at night, that's when people get most crazy. As my grandmother used to say... Late night is for frying fish, fucking and fighting. That's what she used to say. And here it is saying that there is an actual correlation between the amount of melanin that you produce. And here's the thing. My mother said it best. If you think I'm getting on your nerves, you getting on mine 10 times worse. They don't feel the cramps, sis. They don't go through our cramps. They don't go through our pains. They don't go through the restless nights. They don't go through the under the table cramps. They don't go through the heating pad cramps. They don't go through the Aleve cramps. They don't go through the, I, I have so much fluid on me. Oh, I'm so mad and I can't even deal right now. Furthermore, we don't even get to get off work for this shit. So we got to act like we functioning when we losing it. Absolutely falling apart. So Miss Francis. Has talked about it. And not only did she talk about it, she went into detail. Now, it's certain things that I don't agree with. However, I've never written a book about menstruation. So I'm just thankful that she did it. We we obviously we have different backgrounds. So she touches on things that are a little bit different for me, but I fuck with it. I fuck with it heavy. I fuck with it heavy. Now, the, the most illest part that she said was a lot of women with psychic ability. And spirituality really come alive at night. Your yeah, girl. You can think of the list of other people that go online at night and just talk about shit. And that's so captivating that you tune in all the time. These are your spiritual girls. Matter of fact, you could be one of your asses tuning in. You feel me? So now we talking about normality. 
So you don't want to feel like you're by yourself because you're definitely not. And like I said, in my household, it's okay to talk about how you feel. How's your how's your period going? Oh, this is a light one. Oh, this is a heavy one. Oh, I'm bent up hurting. Because a lot of times we got to act like it's so hush hush. Truth be told, if we did not have these periods, the world would not be populated. I, me, Queen of Four, a whole bunch of other spiritual ladies say the womb is the porthole between life and death. He even mentions, he even mentions that there was a point way, way, way back when, where if we did not feel comfortable with the spirit that was incarnating into our bodies, that we would shut it down and have a period and not even have the baby. These are the powers that we possessed back in the day. See, a lot of times we don't understand. Sometimes we don't be in tune with certain spirits. And I'm not saying y'all don't kill me about that. Don't get upset with me about babies that didn't make it. Don't say that because I'm just saying everything happens for a reason. You, as to me and everybody else, we've all experienced certain miscarriages and things of that nature. And a lot of times you have to come to terms with, you know, maybe it just wasn't supposed to be. Because if not, you'll beat yourself up. And it's something physically you had not, no control over. So that's another trauma you got to get past. You got to forgive yourself. You got to move on and you got to push through. Okay, let's get back into this whole period, Kiki. All right, so she talked about just being primal, way more primal than what we ever thought of. Because we, you know, we think we done everything, even though in Egypt they had motherfucking light bulbs. But we swept them down, we did everything. But, all right, it says, caves are the ritual sites for menstruating women. It says, caves block out the light of day. These are places of menstrual energy, menstrual power, and menstrual remembering. In the dark, the blood mysteries come back to you. So she suggests she should she suggest that we sit quietly, bleeding, and open yourself up to the memories. Our menstrual our menstrual energy is moon energy. She also says. Um, is the energy of the night and the darkness. There's no room in it for big, bright offices, neon lights, nightclubs, metropolitan streets, factories, department stores, um, supermarkets overflowing with lights and stimulation. This dark, this deep, dark energy of women lit worst of all into the brightly lit offices or obstetricians and on whose chair a woman may so easily lose her sense of self-worth. Under these circumstances, it isn't, it, it isn't kindness to take away from the burden on the woman so she won't always be remembering the vague power so she doesn't have to suffer so. Let's take everything out of the people. Oh my goodness. Oh my gee, she wish. Okay, she mentions also, she said, many women in the past hundred years have lost their uteruses and ovaries to male-dominated medical thinking. After all, they aren't actually necessary to a woman's well-being. Although the operation does indeed seem to be necessary to a gynecologist's well-being. Mm. And you'll finally be free of your bloody monthly mess. But if you are not quite ready to go that far, then sometimes the thought will wander through your mind that menstrual dragon time is a special time when all sorts of things are going on for you. You can ignore these things, look the other way, grit your teeth and go on in despite of them. You can celebrate them. There's a there's another option. There's another option. You know the phrase that says, I am woman, hear me roar. So, or real hot girl shit. Like, there are things that bind us that are a lot deeper than fucking hair weaves and rear bottoms and twerking. Like, Sisterhood is being able to speak to somebody about something that you know 
that half the population does not go through. And when you say, oh man, I hate when I pass a clot, you need another woman be like, oh my goodness, yes, girl. And it's not necessarily not necessarily a trauma bond, but this is something that you need to, you cannot speak about it unless you've experienced it. Like childbirth, it's one of those things where if you're in a room full of women and y'all get to talking, if one person says anything about having a baby, the stories just start flowing. Mine's was 17 hours. Mine was so easy, I got out of there and went to the club. I'm lying. But I'm just saying. It's one of those things that you can talk about, that you can relate to, and it actually brings us closer as women. This is also the sisterhood that we pass on to our little girls, and we change the idea of how you feel about your period and the things that it is supposed to represent. It it does not feel like a glorious time. But at the end of the day, if you didn't have your period, how could you procreate and keep your lineage going? You couldn't. So it's a bigger, like if you work really, really, really hard to produce something, you go, oh, look at what I produced. A lot of times we don't even acknowledge that we are the creators. We are the ones who bring forth life. So even though you go through some hard shit, I mean, even a lot of people will say ain't nothing easy worth having. That's pregnancy, that's periods, that's perms if you're still getting them. That's everything. That's I mean, that's a lot of shit that women have to go through. What is it called? The, the beauty tax? That's what some people call it. The woman tax is what it should be called. She also mentions to get in touch with your dragon time power. Focus on rituals celebrating around it. Menstrual blood carries a strong emotional charge and changes every ritual. It is good if women know each other and trust each other. So it gets even stronger if y'all get in a circle. Now, now I'm going to fuck your head up. You know, just like I know, if there are women in a house or if you are around other women at your job, y'all will end up syncing up. Y'all periods end up matching. Now, we don't even understand why that is. And there's a lot of theories on that. One theory was that, you know, women have kids all of one age and the village can raise and everybody can learn from. Even in animals, they have a season where they have children where things are more plentiful and more bountiful and the children can eat and grow and they get strong. So when the bad seasons come, they strong enough to deal with it. Because if you was to have a baby in the winter, some of those babies wouldn't make it. That's another theory. Spiritual theory is that we as women don't understand the real power of our sisterhood. We don't understand the real power of our sisterhood. Like, all right, case in point. If you got aunts, if you around your aunts, oh, that's some power there. Whether they drinking, whether they smoking, whether they in church. That's some real power there. And you know what, to be honest, you will never feel as protected as when you are in the circle of your mother and her aunts or her good duties. That is a that is a protective circle. That is a tight knit circle. Now think about this. We all syncing up. We all syncing up. We talking about it, but we ain't putting it to use. Think about if we all synced up and decided to manifest some shit. I put that on the table. Think about it. Me and my girls fast on the 15th every month when we do our waist measurement challenge, figuring out how to make the waist beads work for us. When we do it, the whole energy of the group changes. The whole energy. We go from, I went through this to, I'm good, baby. These niggas better not fuck with me. It is an energy shift. And it, what it does is it strengthens you as a group. So imagine if you all could be like, yeah, we on our period. What are we trying to get done? What are we trying to get done? We trying to get an RV? What are we trying to get done? We trying to open up a business? Beyonce tickets? I don't know your, I don't know your judge. But, uh, but think about if you guys were to super cop up and use that energy for the greater good of all womankind. Think about herbs it. Herbs are really good when you're going through your period. I think it's red raspberry root. If you did not know, I don't know if I mentioned this in another video, French thyme tea. This is a herb that you'll have in your cabinets and you cook with. If you are on your period, 
and your cramps is kicking your ass, it is a diuretic. What you want to do is you want to get a little pot, you want to boil it, the water will turn brown, just like if you was to use it for regular tea. Now, it's going to have a bitter taste. You can sweeten it up with natural sweeteners. You can sweeten it up with honey. You can add a little bit of sugar. By the time, if you got a nice eight ounce cup of tea, like a big cup of tea, not a little bullshit. By the time you get halfway through this motherfucker, your cramps will be gone. Your cramps will be gone. So she mentions a lot of things that help you throughout your menstrual time. But the one thing we don't talk about on this side of the Mason-Dixon is movement. She said that in some places, dance, sig significant, significant. Blah, 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 blah. All right. So she also mentions that dance represents an ancient ceremonial ground. So if you ever get somewhere and you just get to moving and you don't know what the hell the shoulders is coming in with, you know, we don't necessarily know what went on prior to us being here because to be completely honest, a lot of things weren't documented. And if they were, you know, they were trashed or gotten rid of because, you know, history is his story. So a lot of things it doesn't say, but sometimes... If you're somewhere and you feel a lot of energy, maybe you should do some Google research and figure out what happened there prior to it being a mall or a highway or a certain area. One of the things we don't talk about on this side of the world is fluid motion, dance, exercise, walking actually helps you with your period. So we're taught that when we want to ball up and we don't want to do anything that we should just lay there and deal with it. In all actuality, movement helps with your cramps. I watched this video. It's a chick on IG. She talked about, you know, all things feminine. And she mentioned that if you have crazy severe cramps, you can get on your knees, place your hands on your womb, and move like this as as you're moving you're taking your hands and doing like this on your womb to relieve the cramps i don't know if you remember or a time there was a time when i was a little girl i used to have crazy period cramps debilitating in the beginning i came in my period way too early my mom used to rub my stomach and it would put me to sleep and i would feel better okay moving forward sometimes those cramps still come that motion still helps, like heat and pads. We do all kinds of stuff. But you never thought of actually moving and rolling and working out the cramps. Working out the cramps. We, oh shit, we whining. We whining and twerk for everything else. Why wouldn't we move and, and, and actually massage and connect with our wound to get rid of menstrual cramps? Why wouldn't we? There was another book that mentioned that you can actually regulate your ovulation and your periods by changing your sleeping patterns. And what it says was, if you sleep three nights out of a month, 28, 29 days, 30 days, 31 days, if you sleep three days out of the month in light and the rest of them in dark, that means turning off your TV, you can actually change the cycle of your period. Now, we also know that certain things really fuck us up during our period. Tofu, for instance. Anything with tofu in it, you're supposed to stay away from it because it has like a synthetic hormone that amps your shit up and make your shit super crazy and it's no good for you. However, what we don't know about our hormones is that, well, our periods is that you can also slow it using herbs like there's an herb i forgot what the name of it is that is actually birth control and it was used in egypt um certain certain herb vinegars will stop your shit so if you shit i ain't i ain't even gonna tell you somebody gonna tell me i was dead wrong but i was ready going on a cruise and i couldn't get no motherfucking uh birth control pills so i just took some vinegar i just drank a little bit of vinegar every day and it really held it off until i um came back so there are things you can do when you are in tune with your body or you're a spiritual person. Now, sleeping three nights in the light and sleeping the rest of them in pitch black, that may have been a solely psychological thing. Like maybe she just, her mind was strong enough that she changed her cycle. But we never know how strong or powerful we are until we start tapping into that divine feminine energy. So, all things period, 
how it is wonderful. I am woman, hear me roar. Learn, listen, the name of the book is Dragon Times. It is an older book. I think it's like nine bucks on Amazon. You can get it on an audio book. You can get it on a little app that you pay for. Read it, check it out. The name of the author is, I want to make sure I get this right. The I want to make sure that I get it right. Her name is Louisa Francia. The name of the book is Dragon Times. The passages that I've read start at page 42. Um, so check it out. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Matter of fact, underneath... If you think anything made sense, let me know. If you was like, what? I didn't even think about that. Let me know. All things menstruation. All things divine feminine energy. So, hopefully this helped out. Check out my IG. Check out my Facebook. My Facebook ain't jumping like that. But check out my IG. I live on IG. I have a waist measurement challenge coming up in December where I actually will get to meet some of y'all. If y'all join, which would be really dope. We can lose inches and become spiritual, divine, feminine beings together. Learn from each other. Um, y'all know I'm waist beads everything. Waist beads for the world. So if you don't got a set of my waist beads, you fucking up because they $9. That's a, that's a sandwich. That's a bullshit ass happy meal. So um, check out my website. Check out everything. Please subscribe. I'm editing more videos right now. I'm not really good at it. Um, if you need me to speak at any of your events, I know how to talk without curse words. So let me know. And I appreciate you for watching. This was like 40 minutes. Um, comment below and let me know what you thought. Y'all know I give a fuck. I always comment back. Bye, y'all.